Hi, hello, and welcome everyone to Pace Rewind. I'm David Spiegel, and it's time to rewind to the past week of Pace Athletics. The week began with the men's basketball team's home opener against Wilmington University on Wednesday at the Goldstein Fitness Center. Neither team led by more than six points in Wednesday's contest, leading to an exciting finish down the stretch. We'll jump in with under three minutes remaining in the second half. The setters trailed by three, but not for long when Kyle Pearson drains one from downtown to tie the game to 59. A minute later, Shelton McKell drove to the hoop to try to give the setters a lead, and his miss was cleaned up by Victor Giussino, who put the setters up by a pair. Tyre Ponzomik came right back down the court for the Wildcats and sank a three to put Wilmington back up on top at 62-61 with 80 seconds to play. Brian Peterson missed on a forced three with under a minute left, but the Wildcats touched it last to give the setters another chance on offense. Off the inbound, Giussino missed on the lay-in, but Pearson came up with it and kept the possession going. Pearson later tried from the outside, and McKell tried to put the miss back in, but neither shot fell, and the Wildcats ended up with the ball. The Wildcats missed on a 1-1, giving the setters one final opportunity. Brian Rivers came down the court with the clock nearing zero, but he was unable to get a clean shot off at the buzzer, as the Wildcats escaped with a one-point win. The swimming and diving teams hosted Rowan University and St. Peter's University in a double dual meet at the Goldstein Fitness Center this past Saturday. The women's team swept both teams in the meet to improve to 6-2 on the year. Freshman Cassandra Muldoon won all three of her individual events, taking first in the 200-yard butterfly, 200-yard breaststroke, and 200-yard individual medley. Freshman Anna Lee also had another nice outing, picking up wins in the 100-yard breaststroke and as part of the 200-yard freestyle relay team. The men's team took its first loss of the season on Saturday, falling to Rowan in the meet. However, they took a split on the day with a win over St. Peter's. Daniel Galarza set a new team record in the 1,000-yard freestyle at a time of 9.56.75, breaking Douglas Akay's record from 2013. Alexander Dimchewski added a pair of wins in the meet, first as part of the 200-yard medley relay team, and then a victory in the 200-yard individual medley. The women's basketball team looked to move to 3-0 as they opened up Northeast 10 play at home against Lemoyne on Saturday. After trailing for a total of one minute in their first two games, the Sitters played from behind for nearly the entirety of the first three periods against the Dolphins. We'll kick things off in the fourth quarter, with the Sitters down by three. Shanice Maynard came up the ball and draws the and one on the drive. She made the ensuing free throw to tie the game at 50. Later in the fourth, the Sitters trailed once again, but Jackie Oska made a nice move to get free and laid it in to put Pace back on top. They got the ball back with the lead, and Gina Versalvo drew a foul. She made both shots to take a three-point advantage. Later, Uni Cher was sent to the line with a chance to go up by three. Both her shots were true, and the Dolphins needed to score quickly to stay in the game. Vandale Andrade missed the layup after running down the court, and Corinne Pointeven was rejected by Cher, who came up with the ball and was sent to the line once again. She made her second shot to put the game out of reach, and the setters hung on for a 60-55 victory to stay undefeated on the season. The men's basketball team followed the women's game looking to bounce back from Wednesday's narrow loss. They also hosted Lemoyne in their Northeast 10 Conference opener. The setters trailed for much of the game, but never fell behind by more than five. They were down 26-21 to with under five minutes before halftime, before Brian Rivers drained a big three to get back within a score. Taekwon Rolon hit a jumper on the next possession for the Dolphins, but Rivers nailed another big three to cut the deficit to one. The game would be tied at 34 before Lemoyne made a pair of free throws to take a two-point lead at the break. Trailing by a point in the second half, Mikkel took the inbound and makes a tray to give the Setters their first lead of the second half. Two minutes later, Tanner Highland took the lead back to the Dolphins with a three of his own, and the visitors remained on top until the very end of the game. Down by one, Ryan Peterson came up the steal and sprinted down the court looking for the lead. His miss was followed up by Rivers, who laid it in to finally put the Setters back on top. The Dolphins came right back down the court looking to go up again, but Victor Giussino draws an offensive foul to get the ball back for pace. Mikkel was then sent to the line, where he made both chances for a three-point advantage. Tanner Highland tried a three for Lemoyne, but it's no good, and Pearson comes up with the ball. He made both of his free throws to complete a double-double on the day, and the setters held on for the five-point win over the Dolphins. That'll do it for last week's highlights. Thank you to everyone involved in Pace Rewind. I'm David Spiegel, and enjoy your Thanksgiving, everyone.